Okay, so welcome back to the next video on um, next generation sequencing data analysis. So we want to dive into how, what we can do with uh, the sequence, the samples that we have and the sequence basically files that we have. How can we look into them? How can we how can we manipulate them? How can we see what we have in there? First for that, we would need some sequencing files. So if you want to practice, I recommend you download some FASTQ files. And the best way to do that is by looking at the repository, for example, offered by um, uh, NCBI, for instance. So we can go NCBI and uh, you will have, um, actually, you can go quicker. The repository is called SRA. And there we go, you have the home of SRA. They have something called the SRA Toolkit. You need to download the toolkit. And with the toolkit, you can now download and convert the SRA database files. You can convert them into FASTQ files. Anybody who publishes anything with sequencing has to upload their sequences, their, their files that they used for their, their results. They have to upload it into some repository. So other people who read their papers, they, they have public access to it and they can, you know, see for themselves if these results are correct if they want to. And so they upload them either to SRA. There's another one called Geo. But, um, you use, you can download from these, from these repositories and then use their files to practice with so we want to download the toolkit you can go here and it's going to say srl toolkit documentation right here or download sra toolkit that will take you to this website and now you can choose your distribution or your operating system and download it but actually there's a much easier way to download on ubuntu and there's so many things that you can do uh, so many things that you can install like this um you could just open up your terminal i'm just open up a new terminal here and type in following commands okay so you go sudo which is uh, which allows gives you now administrative rights you can now install things to this machine and you write down sudo apt apt get so hyphen get install and uh, we type in sra toolkit i think this is how they write this um, this package you can now this will automatically download the whole toolkit for you so there are so many different tools that are already in a repository that ubuntu is connected to basically that it's already the 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 servers already saved into the ubuntu when you when you install it and you can just press enter uh, it's going to ask you for the password i told you mine earlier but i don't know if you remember and it's going to now install it it's going to ask you are you sure you want to use 10 megabytes of additional disk space because it's going to be a lot you click yeah of course i do and then it's just going to download the whole thing and install it for you it saves a lot of time so now you're done you've installed the whole thing that's it you can now use the different commands that uh, the toolkit uh, offers so you can click toolkit documentation and now in this documentation thing it's going to see frequently used tools fastq dump convert us uh, sra data into fastq formats prefetch allows command line downloading of sra or all of these other data this is really cool because now all you need is some sort of name some id of an sra file and you can just type in pre fetch see i type ta uh, tab and automatically completed it because now i've installed sra tools it already knows what i want to say prefetch and now i would have to write down whatever repository i want so let's find a repository let's find some fastq files that we want to download okay what i did was i just try to find some paper that that some t-cell repertoire analysis by the way um, most of the things that i'll do here in my videos will be T tcr repertoire analysis uh, so t-cell receptor repertoire analysis um, we will of course later on work with different genomes and different things as well but uh, this is what I do mainly at, at work. So that's why this is what I'm um, good at talking about, I guess. So I found this paper, right? High resolution analysis of the human T cell receptor repertoire. Really cool. So I said, you know, usually they would have some SRA or SRP database. There you go. I searched the website for SRA and you find SRA database under the accession code. So these sequencing data are under this accession code. Click it. It should take you to um, the repository. And here are all of these different um, samples, I would say, with the different uh, information of that sample, how it was sequenced, for example. This was sequenced with the 454 machine, GS, FLX, Titanium. This uh, is by uh, Roche, doesn't really exist anymore. This is dying out. Uh, 
doesn't matter you could still use this to work to work with but i prefer using something that is more current something that people sequence with currently is for example the illumina mysec so you you choose whatever you like here i chose this one i open it up here and now here you have the different information about whatever this sample is it says this is the sample name and this is the organism and you'll also have um, different accession numbers what we're interested in is this SRR number so I just copy this one and we can have a look at the toolkit documentation again just to check what kind of options do we have um, see so if we type in for example the um, you know L with uh, so we type in prefetch right this is a toolkit prefetch we write prefetch uh, prefetch and L minus L list the contents of a card file so we don't have a card file I want to download the um, from this SRR, uh, SRR number so I go let's try it out pre fetch paste the SRR number and now you see it's maximum file, sli uh, file size download limit is it tells you what the maximum amount is but it's now downloading and in a terminal as long as it's blinking right here and it doesn't show your you know your uh, current location where you're at it's working and it's 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 doing whatever once it's back just like it just happened right here it means the progress the process is done and you can read here it says was downloaded successfully has zero unresolved dependencies so where did it download to probably exactly where we are at no where did it download to uh let's think oh there there's a folder it says ncbi so it did download there we just go to ncbi ls public we move to public ls sra we move to sra ls and there we go that's our sra file and probably if now you keep using this um, prefetch it will always go into this specific folder so we we can't use an SRA file. We want to we want to have a fastq file. What do we do? Look at toolkits, and it's going to say fastq dump right here. Convert SRA data into fastq format. We want to do this next. So we do exactly this. We are now in the folder with this file. We type in fastq dump. See, I'm just going to press tab. It auto completed. We we're not we just going to stick with the default um, options and just type in SRA our file number and press enter it should now convert um your fastq file and it seems like it's done we press ls there we go see now we have a fastq file with this and just for you to see because i moved around in the terminal right for you to see this here as well we now here have this folder ncbi public sra and there we have our two files and now we can start looking into this fastq file how does a fastq file look like how do we uh, manipulate it because if this file has let's say half a million reads it would be ridiculous to open this up with something like excel you could right theoretically you could look into this or using excel an excel sheet and you would uh, have all of the content of it but we don't want that so we want to look inside this how do we look inside this file for this i'm just gonna sorry i closed it accidentally so i'm just gonna open it up again go ncbi um, public sra here we go this is the fastq file again so how do we look inside it well, there's one command called head we can go head and now type in the file number you can see i pressed tab and it only completed all the way to dot to the dot and that's why the reason why is because um we have two files with the exact same name and they only differ in those you know in, in the in the part of this uh, of the file name after the dot so it doesn't know what it should write if i give him the f and press tab now it's going to complete to the fast queue press enter and you see and now what it did is it displayed the first few lines of that file so this file might have a million lines of code with head it gives you the first few um if you you can also say how many it should give you by pressing head n and write a number let's say 10 we want the first uh, 10 lines and then the name of the file it's going to now give you the first 10 lines and i think 10 lines is the default of head as well so you could go n 50 
and it's gonna give you much more content. You can now scroll up. You can, by the way, also, of course, have your terminal bigger if you, if you prefer. Now, what does this all mean? So the fast queue file, the queue is, I think, I think it stands for quality because uh, uh, the fast queue file, it, the, the difference between a fast queue file and the faster file is that the fast queue file holds information about the quality of the, the sequence, the, the quality of that read, uh, how accurate is the base that was chosen to be in that place because uh, you know most machines they can measure this and they know the uh, the the quality they can give you a quality output of that base let's uh, google how a fast queue file looks like just so you know what each line here means so in wikipedia you can just go to fast queue and see there you go it says a fast queue file containing a single sequence might look like this and then you have the at which is just a sequence id we have that right here the id for this specific sequence is this number and uh, then there can be this it doesn't it doesn't say this on the wiki page here but there can be more information on this for example the length of that sequence which is 152 base pairs so that's interesting this is uh, all in the line of uh, the identifier here the id then comes the sequence the sequence here is split into two lines and the reason for that is actually just because the terminal wasn't large enough so it uh, broke the line right here and that's why it's 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 actually should, should just be one line but what comes next is a plus and it's then gives more information about the um, quality of those base pairs which is all of this other stuff right here okay now there's other software that will interpret all of the all of these things for you and there's also things where you can convert this into a faster file a faster file is much more simple a faster file just looks like this where uh, maybe we have it here as well show you this too as a good comparison faster files look like this it's just an identifier here which starts like this so this is the name of whatever you want to call it and then literally the sequence so that's that's all the faster file is and uh, this is just one sequence but a faster file can of course have 500,000 sequences and then it will all be one uh, every every two lines basically will start a new file okay so um we've now learned how to look into a file and it, you can you can look with head for example you can look into any text file any file actually you can just press head and look into it look what's uh, what's inside there and something interesting that you could now for example do let's just do one more thing that you could try and find out now now that you have the fastq file let's find out how many reads did our fastq file have how many basically sequences are in that file and you can find it out by um, using following command wc minus l will give you the line so this the this is the option minus l of course and this will give you the line count how many lines does this file have uh, the which file the file that we provide him right here the fast q file it says here it has over a million lines okay so here you go this is your fast q file does this mean you have over a million sequences or reads no it does not why because we know that one sequence has several lines with the identifier uh, with the sequence and then with the quality score how many lines does it have it has here it says it a fastq file normally uh, uses four lines per sequence so we'll have four lines okay so you have to just divide this number by four and that would then give you um, the number of reads in that fastq file so we learned uh, two new um, commands right here like head and uh, wc and uh, you will find several more of these small commands that actually help you a lot uh, because we'll learn how to use these on on, on, in, in, on big files and also on many files at the same time and slowly, slowly automate all of these processes because right now we're just looking on how to look into files but the goal is actually to do analysis, right? So we're getting there now. Just uh, watch the other file, or watch the other videos, check out uh, the website nextgenerationsequencinghq.com where you'll also find a course. If it's not up yet, there will be one soon on how to use all of these skills that you'll learn in these videos on how to combine them all and create a program, create a script, a bioinformatical pipeline that will do work that would take you maybe a month and literally 10 seconds. So go ahead and uh, visit 
nextgenerationsequencinghq.com.